Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sitting on my new couch. <laughs> I'm sitting in my new apartment. <laughs> I feel like the lighting is so off. Put you here. Yeah, it's so much better. So much better. Okay, as you can see, I'm in my new apartment. This just feels awkward to me because I just said this in another video where the same thing looking the same and all of that, but. Just work with it, just work with it. This is what you do when you batch film. Film, oh my god. So because my moving day was actually so hectic, I didn't get the opportunity to film any of it. Literally like non-zip zada, nothing. So I decided that I was just going to give you a rundown of how my moving day went. It was hectic. There was even like some point in time where I caught up with my landlord um, for some odd reason. I'm over it now and she apologized and everything but we're getting to that as I tell you the events of June 1st. Let's just start from Wednesday night. I started packing everything into my boxes and most of everything was actually done on Wednesday night. Okay, I played games and chilled for the rest of the night. After I was like tired, I'd be like, I'm just gonna relax, you know, like chill out. The Thursday morning, I still had work, but I took work off to leave about, I wanna say 3.30 was my plan to leave 3.30. Sometimes earlier in the day, I realized that there's no way I could get back to Brampton in time to pick up my truck, to pack everything in the car, and to do my final packing. So I asked there's a possibility that I'll be able to leave earlier because there's no way I can get everything done in the short time that I planned. Like, honestly, I should have just taken Thursday off, but I, I was thinking, oh, I can do it. So it was just like no big deal for me. So I left around one o'clock or shortly after one. I drove to work this day, by the way. So I drove down and came here to pick up my keys and sign the last few papers. I came in and I toured it with the rental agent to make sure everything was in working order. Mind you, some things were not. <laughs> then I quickly recorded the empty room tour, empty apartment tour, which you guys should see by the time you see this video. I drove back home and I started packing and I got a text from my ex saying that he could come and help me pack up what's left. So I was like, yeah, sure, because I'll take the help. So he came by and we finished packing everything. It was like quarter to six before I left the house to go pick up his mom. Go pick up the truck because she was driving the truck for me. We got the truck and we went back and we packed everything into the truck. Just before leaving, <laughs> just before leaving, my landlord wanted to take a look through the apartment. I had my old mattress there and the plan was to actually just put it out on the curb where the garbage truck could pick it up. And I spoke to her earlier about it and she's like, you should have get rid of the mattress on the weekend and slept on the floor. I was like, I'm not gonna put myself in discomfort when you can literally just put it outside on the curb where the garbage truck could pick it up. You know what I'm saying? It was still in the basement side and she's like, you don't have to take the mattress with you. But literally there was no space in my truck to take the mattress. So I was like, can you please just like either call the people to come pick it up or just leave it on the curb, a garbage truck. I don't know what was going on at the time, but she just totally lost her and started shouting and be like, no, that's not my problem. You should have done this from the weekend. You can't leave it here. Mind you, I booked the moving elevator from seven to nine. At this point, it's eight o'clock. It takes you half an hour to 45 minutes to come to Toronto, and that's probably without traffic. <laughs> so I was already running late to get here to have the moving elevator. So just did not have the time, and I was like, I have to leave right now. Like, I, I don't have time for this. Can you just please just um, just leave it out on the curb and they would pick it up and she started pushing the mattress towards me I hate I hate confrontation anybody knows me. I hate confrontation So I'm just like walking away back upstairs and she started shouting I'm like um just deal with it I have to go because I'm running late and I was going back up the stairs and then she just blurted out that I'm rude and then I'm gonna have a bad life. I don't like when anybody curse at me. And the thing with me, I am not disrespectful to elders whatsoever, no matter how rude they are. I can't bring myself to disrespect an elder and that's just how I'm grown. If you know me, sometimes I get really emotional. If I don't get to say something that I want to say to you, I will cry, <laughs> I'm sorry. It just is what it is. I would cry. Um, my only response to her was just I, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and anything that you wish on me will come back on you tenfold. Like and then um her husband was like it's okay, just go. 
So we closed up the truck, started driving off. And now I'm looking for everything. I'm looking for my bag, because I need my bag. And then I, I, my bag was placed into the truck. So we stopped and I went in the truck, pulled out my bag. At this point, I was like livid. Like I was just like mad upset. I like slammed the truck door open and it got stuck for a little bit so we were there for a little bit trying to close the truck again I started driving and I started crying so I called my friend I called my friend Jomi and I told her what happened and I told her to, to call my mom text my mom and told my mom to call me just to say so she called my mom my mom spoke to me told me to calm down and prayed for me a little bit because she wanted to reverse that curse and then called somebody else to calm me down which helped also i was legit on the highway when i realized i left my purse <laughs> my purse and all my like my credit cards everything like i have my bag but then like my physical purse and I realized that I'm just gonna have to go back. When we got here, it was 9.45. I couldn't open the elevator, it just wouldn't open. So I had to go running looking for the superintendent or one of those people who deal with the apartment buildings. And I saw one and I was like, booked the elevator from seven to nine. I know it's like, I know it's like um, quarter to nine right now, but if it's possible, can you please open it? I think I'm the last person who booked. And he was kind enough to open the elevator for me. Just a little things that makes you know that you're blessed. And we started, um, on unloading the things and bringing them up into the apartment. 9.20ish, like a couple people came in and be like, oh, we booked the elevator from from 9 to this time and you're in our space or whatever. By that time, I only had my dresser left in the truck, so it wasn't like too bad. And I and they, they saw that was left and they were said, go ahead, we're still waiting on the truck to come so you can just finish. And we were able to finish and bring everything back into the apartment. While I was unloading the truck and putting things in the elevator, my landlord called. Or my ex landlord. <laughs> Basically, she just apologized. She said that she doesn't know what happened. She thought I would like stay to say goodbye and all of that. Because apparently, in her head, Friday was June 1st. So she thought I was leaving on Friday, which was not the case. So I guess she was flustered, which happens to everybody. But like, mind you, sometimes you should mind how you speak to somebody and what you say to somebody. Just be careful how you respond to people. And if you know you're really angry, just take a breather and then then say something. You shouldn't just like react like that. But I was very like, I felt very disrespected. And the fact that she cursed at me and cursed my, for me to have a bad life, that really like hit me hard to the point where I was like, no, in the name of Jesus, that won't happen. And she told me that I left my purse and then I left my graduation picture and I left my extra car keys. like. There's so many things that I left there. So after I got gas and went and dropped off the truck and then Nate and his mom left and went home and then I had to drive all the way back to Brampton because I needed my purse. So when we went back, we hugged it out fine. I wasn't feeling very well only because I didn't eat at all that day. Uh, at all, like I didn't eat anything that day so I was feeling sick. And she gave me um, tea and um, fruit, melon. So I ate that, blessed it. I blessed it and ate it. <laughs> And then we like hashed things out and decided that like bygones be bygones. That was it. We left in good graces. So I came back home and then I was looking at all the things that I'm gonna have to do and pack out and all of that. And then I just like said, you know what, let me call it a night. My mom called, I spoke to her for a little bit. I was on the phone with my mom for from leaving Brampton all the way back here because I was feeling extremely tired and I just needed to talk to somebody while I drive so you know like I have the company everything like worked out so I showered I took a bath so my first bath in the apartment was a bath and not a shower so I took a bath and I soaked in there for a little bit I slept on my little my comforter and um, two of my pillows um, mind you stuff was still in my car like there was a few things in my car so and I didn't remember I didn't pack them out or whatever but Anyways, even though the floor was very hard, it was a decent sleep for, for sleeping on the floor. So I woke up the next morning and I woke up way before my time. Like I woke up like after five in the morning. I always wake up before my alarm though. So I woke up and I decided, you know what, let me make my bed. So I started cleaning out the room and everything. No, I don't even have to explain that because I think, I think I vlogged that. So yeah. <laughs> So that's it. <laughs> so my moving day was very hectic and then unfortunate event happened between me and my landlord but we hashed it out so it's totally fine. So yeah, 
that's how my moving day went. Comment down below what your thoughts with that confrontation. Just let me know how you would have reacted if that happened to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to bust a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to click the post notification bell. Know when I post a new video. Bye. <laughs>